Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I am going to show you how to create on yourself a very beautiful clean makeup look. Now this is the look that I came out with, believe it or not, but it's just one single eyeshadow but it's the key to the eye makeup. By the time I got to the end of this look I've realized that I was using my my current favorite products, this is a long lasting makeup look, you could wear it at work, you could wear it on an interview, you could wear it on a date, you could wear it out with friends. It's just the perfect go-to look that I feel everybody should have. Everybody should have like that go-to look that just emphasizes the beauty, the natural beauty that we already have without too many colors, without shimmers, without... Um, uh, too much product and this video is all about that now before we get into it you know the drill click on that subscribe button and that ring bell button how else would you be notified if you don't click on that ring bell button now if you'd like to see how I've created this super simple very clean look then please keep on watching you know that I love to try new foundations, test them and review them for you. But my go-to foundation, ever since I've discovered it, is this Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This. This one just blends into the skin. It sets by itself. So it's not one of those foundations that you apply and then it kind of moves, especially like in here, the foundation sort of moves on my face to put my nose and chin. Chin is like disaster. Most of the foundations are like slippery on this on my chin unless I apply a lot of powder. Unless it's in maquillage. Like really, this is the foundation that lasts on my face without looking cakey. I don't feel it's a full coverage foundation. However, it covers very very well. I'm using the color 110 and it's not my true color. I like to use a foundation that's a little bit darker because I have some self-tan. I'll use this Il Maquillage 100 foundation brush. Very useful brush for like everyday application. You can apply your foundation super fast. And if you want to try this foundation and I strongly recommend you to they have this program that's called try it before you buy it and in my description box there is a link and that's going to take you to this survey with a lot of fun questions and they're going to detect according to other foundations that you've used before what is your shade they're going to send you the foundation and you get to try it for 14 days for free if you don't like it you just send the foundation back. If you do like it, only then you will be charged for the product. I received so many messages from you telling me you love the foundation, that it looks amazing on you. Nothing makes me happier than when you guys are trying something that I recommend and then you are like totally crazy about it. Now look at this finish. It And this is two pumps, two pumps all over the face. There is a little bit of sheen to the skin. There is a little bit of glow. I can still see my skin. Whenever I travel, I take this foundation with me. It would be the only foundation that I take with me, actually. I am madly, and I mean madly, in love with this concealer from Armani Power Fabric. You don't need a lot with this concealer a little goes a long way it's my absolute favorite concealer for a natural look it covers it has a thin texture without making your eye area looking like ugh. you could apply it directly on the skin and then come with a brush and blend this concealer in sort of a triangle shape but don't apply it like all over in here I feel like that is too much especially if you're looking for a very beautiful natural looking expensive kind of a skin apply it in here and then blend it in a triangle shape like from the inner corner towards the nose and then back towards the corner of your eye Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder with this Hakuhodo B021 brush I'm going to set the under eye area like immediately and I love using this smaller brush for this step. NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is a liquid bronzer. And if you're watching my channel for a while, you know my love for 
all the liquid bronzers, cream bronzers. I feel like they look so much more natural on the skin. This Laguna bronzer from NARS really sets beautifully on the skin. I'll take it with this Kat Von D brush. Do not apply any cream product except for concealer directly onto the skin. It's much, much harder to blend it. You see, it's a very subtle, beautiful, bronzy color. Lately, I've started to use this GoGo -Go tint from Benefit. This is a lip and cheek product and some of you are actually very curious on how to apply this product. Apparently it's a very popular uh, product from Benefit, but a lot of you told me that it really stains your skin and, and it doesn't blend. The reason why it doesn't blend is because you apply it directly onto the skin. Stop doing that right now. Take a little bit of product on the back of your hand. Take your brush, I'll take this Kat Von D brush. All the products and all the brushes that I've, that I've used in this video, you find them in my description. So I've loaded my brush with it. Now I apply it onto the cheeks. Now with the blush, the placement for everybody is different. Also, I like to apply just a swipe on the eyelid and also on the nose, just a little bit. It kind of brings everything together. Now I'm going to set everything with powder. I'll use my Kokutan uh, brush from Hakuhoro. With this foundation, you need just a tiny little bit of powder because it sets by itself, which is amazing for a foundation. This is what I'm looking for, for like an everyday foundation. Now I'm going to apply some powder on that area where I've applied the Laguna bronzer because that place is very hydrated because it's a liquid product. So now if I go on with a powder bronzer, it's going to stick to the skin, it's going to look muddy, it's not gonna blend well. And apply just a soft deal of powder wherever you've applied the creamy bronzer. So then when you're going to go on with your powder bronzer, it's going to look nice and smooth. Guerlain Terracotta bronzing powders are one of the most popular bronzing powders. It's so popular that people don't even say, oh, I'll just do some bronzing powder. They will say, just use some terracotta. And they, they come in multiple colors and multiple finishes. I've got these three. This one right here is the one that I love the most because as you can see, this color right here, it's a little bit more on a cool tone, not really, but compared with the others, it's a little bit more on the cool tone bronzer. So I love that for my skin. This is in light, it's called Sun Trio in light. Then this one is in brunette. And then this is 02 natural cool. I will, I will use this one. I'll use my Hakuhodo with no name on it. Uh, but you know, MAC has a very similar one. This is 137 from MAC and this is from Hakuhodo. This is much more expensive. Uh, the reason why I'm going to use this one because it's a, it's smaller than the other one. The brush is not so dense, so it's going to spread the product very beautifully and like uniform, especially when you have, you know, those bumps. I don't know if you've experienced that as well, but when you apply the powder, it's sort of emphasizing those small bumps on top of your skin. With any of these two brushes, that's not gonna happen. And I'm going to apply it wherever I've applied that liquid bronzer. Before I do anything else, I'm going to apply some setting mist. And I've been using this Morphe setting mist that it's super affordable. I got it from Ulta when I was in LA. The skin immediately turns into this beautiful, dewy finish. Now I just need to let it dry. Let's show some love to the eyebrows. I'll use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. And since my complexion is a little, little bit darker, I'm going to use this in number three and I apply it first in the sparse areas. I've applied just a tiny little bit of this Anastasia 
clear brow gel just to have them stay in place. Now when it comes to eye makeup, in order to create a very clean look, you have to use the same color palette that you sort of find on your face. What does that mean? Like, take for example the color of your hair, the color of, you know, the shadows, the color of uh, your natural lips. Like, these colors will look like the best on you. Like in the same family, in the same category, right? So, I want to share with you these five cream eyeshadows that have changed my makeup game when it comes to myself and also clients because it has shortened the amount of time that I spend for an eye look because once you have a beautiful base then you could apply even a highlighter on the middle of your eyelids and it's going to look like you've created the most sophisticated amazing makeup these five eyeshadow colors like i've got so many colors but these are the ones that i use the absolute most they are super long lasting <clears throat> they have a beautiful satin finish they are long wearing they're easy to work with sometimes cream eyeshadows you apply them and it does not give you a lot of time to work with them. They dry so fast before it gives you time to actually blend it. With this one, you need a tiny little bit of product and it just blends like a dream. And I'm going to share with you these uh, all these colors. <clears throat> this is in 105. It's so beautiful. I know it looks kind of dark on my hand, but actually when you blend it, and I'm going to demonstrate this to you it becomes this beautiful brown shade that I absolutely love so this is 105 it works with my skin tone it works with neutral skin tones you could make it very light you could make it more intense next one is E108 you wouldn't pay too much attention to this color but for example this is the color that I use all the time on Natalia Bodianova's eyelids. It just looks so beautiful on her skin and it just creates the most beautiful natural shadow on her lids and because it has the satin finish when you blink it sort of catches the light and it just looks so like you're wearing satin on your lid on your eyelids. I love this. Next is E129. Almost like skin color but again, because it has this satin finish, when you apply it on the lid, on the lids, it's so beautiful. And this is like your everyday color. Uh, you know, it could be a very good base for you know your powder eyeshadows. Now the next two colors that I'm going to share with you, they're more on the warm side. E127. This is so beautiful if you're medium, if you're dark skin tone, if you're dark skin tone, this is going to look so beautiful on your eyelids. Now, if you are medium tone, let me show you how it looks like when you blend it. It's this beautiful warm brown. E126 is this dark, rich, neutral undertone brown when you blend it look how beautiful it looks when you blend it this is so nice and i actually you know what because i feel like a lot of you are going to think that this is a very very dark but i want to show you how versatile it is let me get the camp closer alex is not around he will pay for this so like i said i'm going to use one two six and show you how you can still make it look so beautiful, so natural, you can still achieve that clean look. I will apply just two dots. Then with just a, any blending brush, 228 brush from Zoeva. And blend it. You know, even if it's a very dark, eyeshadow at first you could still make it look so beautiful and natural i've applied that same product on my lower lashes and the thing about my eyes what i've noticed it's not a general rule but just try it and see if it works 
the lower I go with this darker shade on my lower lash line, the bigger my eyes are going to look like. Check this out. Now let's talk about mascara. This base with the Velvet Noir Mascara from Marc Jacobs. If you have the very fine uh, lashes, you know, whatever mascara you use, it doesn't really make a difference in your lashes. Now you have to try this one. So I'm going to first apply the base. Now I'm going to move on with the Velvet Noir Mascara from Marc Jacobs as well. Wow. If this mascara is not spectacular, I don't know what else is. Wow. 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 And I like it even better now that it it's kind of old. At the beginning when I buy a mascara, I don't really like it. No matter what mascara it is, I I like it when it's a bit old. Are you kidding me? Like these two? Perfection. Perfection. I've realized that I was doing my makeup with, I would say, my absolute favorite products. Now I'm thinking about what lip color I could use. For me, it's very important to line my lips. And let me explain why, because I get a lot of questions about that. The reason why you want to apply a lip liner is first, because it's going to create that very beautiful, defined lip. Second, because it will prevent whatever you're going to use to like smudge. It makes any lipstick last longer. I've been loving this Nude Envy lip liner and also their lipsticks are very good, super hydrating. This color in particular is timeless and it's not too warm, it's not brown like a like a yellow brown, you know, it, it has that perfect color for everybody. Let me get closer. When I say get close, I'm like, okay, let me jump on this table right here. I'm going to slightly overline the lips and then with the same product, I sort of fill in my lips. I feel like it's, you know, it's not even there. Now you could just apply lip balm or any lipstick and actually it could work because it's such a neutral color on the outside of your lips. And here you could apply a little bit of a peachy tone, a little bit of a pink tone, whatever you want. Now I'm going to show you this Laura Mercier Velvet Matte Lipstick. This is such a pretty pink, but the not too pink. If you feel it's a bit too dry, apply just some lip balm before you apply the lipstick. It's going to help a lot. Now because I did not powder in here, you see there is already this beautiful shine. It just comes from the foundation. So I will take this palette. Isn't this beautiful? It's from NARS and it's Lost in Luster. I'll take this color right here, Anastasia 823 brush. And right where I already have that glow, I make it just a little bit more obvious. All right, ladies, this is my final look. Did you enjoy this video? Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that ring bell button. Do all the good stuff. And show some love to this channel. Now, if you'd like to see how I've created this very simple, effortless, wavy, hairstyle let me know in the comments down below i'd love to do that especially now that i've i've cut my hair i find that it's just so much easier so much faster to do my hair come and hang out with me on instagram especially on insta story i'm super active in there and by the way if you're coming from instagram please leave me i don't know some emoticon in the comments i'd love to know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Did you guys miss him? Obviously he did. He just doesn't like this, all these lights. That's what it is.
<laughs> You're worse than the grumpy cat. Come on, it's just lipstick. Yeah, tell me more. How was your day? That bad? No more than this. No. I'll defend you. Repeat, no, my repeat. 